Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Jose with Buckhorn Lawn Service and today what I'm going to do is an unboxing and review of the Troy Built TB 490 XP. Now this is a 4x4 lawn mower. It's one that I've had my eye on for quite a long time now and I went ahead and bit the bullet and had it delivered. Uh, took only just a few days really. It, it came in from Dallas and of course I'm here in San Antonio, Texas so that's why it, I got it very very quickly so let's go ahead dive into it and see what we have in the box now this is my first actual unboxing of just about anything I've ever bought my first uh, unboxing review here on YouTube for this channel so uh, please just bear with me as I do this the box is not in the best shape but hopefully the mower inside is okay this is weird. One of the knobs was just laying down on the inside of the box. We have the bag frame here. The bag itself. We'll put that together here in a little bit. I'm just going to set it aside. Discharge chute, instruction booklet, engine oil as well. Alright, so far so good. Let's set that aside too. I'm sure there's a easier way to get this out, but for now we're just going to manhandle it. My, my, it is heavy. So we have both of these laying at the bottom of the box. I'm just going to work my way from the front to the back. Just taking all this stuff off. Bad news already for me. There's supposed to be a second carriage bolt, but I only have one in the box. First thing we've got to do is we're going to have to get the handle situated. Um, we need to remove these two bolts here. They just come right out like that. What's going to happen is those bolts will come back and come right back in here in order to secure the handle. The wing nut's going to go on the outside, the carriage bolt on the inside. All right, nice and tight there. Now we're going to put the T bolts to the bottom part here. Okay, hopefully this helps you guys out to see what I'm doing. See, I, I put the T-bolt in there in this hole. The last thing they want us to do is attach the rope into its loop. Well, that was the easiest part right there. This is the bag of oil that they sent me with the machine. 12, 12 ounces. I'll have to double check the manual and see if that's the full capacity of the, of the oil reservoir. And it looks good. Looks uh, looks real good. Clean oil. It's not the full line. Just for grins, that's what it looks like with the uh, discharge chute on. Hey guys, just going to show you a product that I picked up today real quick. It's called this uh, Easy Pour. I uh, got it at my local little engine shop when I took my mower blade in for sharpening. The guy told me that it should work on the 5 gallon gas can just fine. Now the issue I've been having lately with this 5 gallon gas can is that it leaks. And it leaks real bad. Uh, whenever I am trying to put gas into my into my mower, put that on nice and tight. Take this off. Okay, let's give it a shot. And that worked out real well. No leaks at all. I'm just gonna check the air filter. Just make sure there's one present, and there is. We are ready to crank this bad boy up and test it out. This thing is a beast.
Okay guys, so uh, I gave it a quick test run real quick just to see how it would how it per would perform. Um, first thing I'm really going to have to do is go to Home Depot or something and go get a, a carriage bolt for that last uh, wing nut so I can put it on and, and get the handle 100%. Other than that, uh, the mower seems to be good. The only thing I'm a little concerned about, but I'm thinking maybe it's just part of it, is the exhaust was smoking a lot when I was out there. Uh, it was just and, and this real bad burning oily smell came out of it. Um, I don't know, maybe if that's just because it's brand new and it's just running for, for the very first time ever, if that's just normal of it to do that. So as it progressed, uh, of course I stood out there for just a few minutes. Uh, it did actually start to, to go away just a little bit. Um, a, little, a few little wisps of what the smoke are coming out just now, but I mean, it, it, it doesn't really seem to be that big of a deal, so I'm hoping it's okay. What I'm going to do though uh, is check the manual, make sure if it's 12 ounces of oil or if it needs more oil than that, uh, because I've got another uh, a Toro mower that I believe calls for 20 ounces in there uh, of oil, so I, I just want to check the capacity on this bad boy and see, see how it is. I got to tell you, this thing uh, fires up really nicely. Uh, it sounds great. It, it's, it's actually not that loud. It, it's, it's no louder than my uh, TV-130 push mower. Um, so it has a lot of pull to it though. I tell you what, uh, the front wheel drive it, it, it is pretty good. I, I think it's good. Uh, it's probably uh, no weaker than my old Honda Craftsman that I've got. Uh, and that, that thing I think pulls just fine. But once you engage the rear wheel drive, I mean, it goes. And then when you activate the four wheel drive, it really goes. So this is going to be extremely beneficial for some of the lawns that I do that are on uh, extreme, extreme hilly uh, slopes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm talking like steep slopes going up, guys. So um, this, is, this is really going to be helpful. Um, it's got the discharge chute. That's usually the configuration I keep when I'm out doing jobs. Uh, to, to me, this is just my opinion, uh, with the grass coming out of there, your blade is able to stay at a pretty good speed versus mulching where it's, it's trying to chop up all that grass very quickly, so it, it kind of will slow down just a little bit. Uh, that's just my opinion though, uh, I mean, you, you guys do what you feel you got to do. This is just what I like to do, this is my only personal preference. Um, it's heavy though, it, it's, it's extremely heavy, uh, that's okay though, I have a trailer. And this thing's going to ride in the trailer, and it's got the ramp, so I don't have to worry about picking it up uh, up and down off the truck all, all day long while I'm working. So, all right, guys, let me run to the hardware store real quick and go get a carriage bolt, and I'll conclude the review right after that.